hope you remembered good old school days right so when you uh, get the like let's say in a, in your exam right if you are first place your number wise your number is very low but the rank wise and the position wise you are the top if you have a 30 people in your class if you get the 30th one if you are 30th the number wise you had the bigger number but in the position wise you have the lowest position right so this is a little weird the position wise when you go higher the number wise you go low and the position wise when you go uh, low the number wise you go higher this is called ranking system here are the two confusion points for you i understand that everyone knows the maximum thread uh, priority is a 10 if you learn thread you know that already so now the problem is is it 0 to 10 or 1 to 10 right so thread priority is because this is almost confusing because sometimes some numbers start from the 0 especially when you deal with the arrays and sometimes some numbers start with the 1 how you can determine this if the thing is a index if you are going to deal with the index then 99.9 time it start with a 0 that's a standard practice but thread priority is not an index right thread priority is a value so it won't start with a 0 thread priority always start with a 1 and end with a 10 that's the first confusion the second confusion which one is the highest priority that's why i bought that example before when you in the first place in the uh, when you earn the first place so you are the top of the number wise you are low because you are in a ranking system in that case right but when you deal with the threads threads are not ranks right they are four threads are not going to deal with so uh, number 1 is the highest priority thread has a constant like a thread dot min thread dot normal and thread dot max if you printed those values you will see um the the highest priority is 10 always highest priority is 10 so then thread are not start with the zero thread priorities are not start with the zero and highest priority is 10 and the lowest priority is 1 normal priority we consider as a 5 with the mid mid value so the third confusion when i ask a question 99.9 candidates in interviews they say default thread priority is a 5 which is not which is wrong right so there is nothing called default priority is 5 we can see that during the session so just move in here so this is the example uh, we were discussing throughout last uh, videos right so this is where we ended last time so we converted the program into the runnable uh, implement the runnable and we executed this so let's just make sure the program executes fine so then we can take it from there yes it's executed fine so see this number 1 setting a priority so i'm going to set a priority for my thread saying thread dot set priority is 1 you will see this this is this is little bit um, uh, hard to see because number 1 we don't have a control of the execution flow for the thread i mean we don't have a control which thread is going to execute if i want to really show how the thread priority works this example will be so complex right so i don't want to explain a complicated uh, example throughout this type of tutorial so i'm going to show you as much as i can through that this type of simple example so so now if you execute this program so both pro, both for loops supposed to print up to 50 right so when i execute this right so you will see right so this is just a random execution we set thread priorities to 1 for the my child thread so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to set thread priorities to 10 into my child thread right so i'm going to set the thread priority as a 10 which is my maximum value right so now when i execute this program right so still you won't see very uh, clear behavior because of this uh, simple number is supposed to print and this 0 1 to 5 50 is just a nothing but in the majority cases you will see child thread execute before main thread right so in majority cases you will see child thread execute uh, before the main thread executes because we set the high priority to the thread 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to print the thread priorities here. So what I'm going to do is so main thread priority is thread dot current thread dot get priority. Okay, see what I see see the numbers I'm getting here. Okay. So same way I'm going to print print a thread priority. Okay, so my thread class priority, right? Thread instance priority, right? So it will tell my child thread priority, right? So first one tell my main thread priority, last one will tell my child thread priority. So run again. Right. So, you will see, so main thread 5, child thread 10, right. This is the where confusion is start, the thread default priority is 5, okay. So, now, okay. So, this, this behavior we can expect because we always do that before the thread start. So, I run again, right. It is always 5 and 10, right. It is always 5 and 10. So, now, what I am going to do here, I am going to stop setting thread priority. I am not setting a thread priority by child thread anymore. We will see what is the priority of the thread. Okay. So, now you will see both threads, the priority is 5. So, this is the where confusion start mainly thread default priority is 5. So, see what I am going to do now, right. So, before I create this thread, it is it is must before you create this thread what I am going to do is right. So, thread dot current thread dot set priority is 1. I am going to set priority 1 for the main thread right. So, now see this again see the behavior right. So, I set the priority 1. So, now you will see right. So, main thread priority 1, child thread priority 1. So, now what I am going to do one more thing to just to show you very very clearly. So, before you set the priority, I am going to print what is the main thread value, right. So, just say main before, okay. So, run again. So, now you will see main before is 5, then I said to the main to 1, then uh, my child said also get the priority 1. So, now I set the main priority to 7, right, main thread priority to 7. So, now you will see before it is 5, I said to the main thread to 7, then child said also default priority becomes 7. So, if you happen to believe that every thread what being created is a default priority is 5, then it is not. This is the rule. Main thread in any application, main thread default priority is 5 because no one is creating the thread, system is creating the thread, so it said the priority is 5. Thereafter, any thread you created, it get inherit parent thread's value. For example, if the main thread happened to create the thread num T1, then T1 inherit main thread priority. Right? Then you can change the priority. Let us say main thread is 5. So, you create a T1. So, T1 priority is now 5. So, now you set the priority to 7 of the T1. Then you create a T2 with the 3 1 thread. So, now T2 inherit T1 thread's priority. That is how priority works. Right? There is no rule saying always thread priority is 5. Right? So, that is the wrong understanding. So, now, now the problem is if what happened if I said something beyond 10, let us say I said 100, forget about 100, let us say 11, right. So, will it since 11 is beyond my limit, will it set back to the 10 or oh, what going to happen? So, when I execute this, it will tell you illegal argument exception. This is other famous interview question. What happened if you set a priority beyond the desired 1 to 10 priorities. 
sometimes people say if you set more than 10, it will come back to the 10 because 10 is the highest value you can set. No, it is not. It is wrong, right? So, it is not. So, what it does is it tells you illegal argument exception because you are setting something beyond the desired limit of the thread priority. So, then the uh, other topic to discuss, other thing to discuss, right? So, let us let us go back here. So, I am going to set the main thread to priority 1 and child thread to priority 10. So, now I cut down my main thread up to one priority, lowest, uh, least priority and uh, my child thread is the maximum priority, right? So, let me to run this again, right? So, now we expecting, now we expecting always, right? Always child thread uh, supposed to do its job before uh, main thread print, main thread end this job because main thread has lowest priority, child thread is the highest priority, but you can see the incident, it is not like that, right? But Keep in mind, this is not a really a workable benchmark test because we, we depend on what we print. So, last time we saw the printing mechanism may be slow because uh, maybe thread executed before the printing. And other than that, so the printing 0 to 1 is just a nothing for a thread and because this bunch of high end computer. So, you will do, you won't see this uh, behavior, but you can just uh, try to get an idea how the thread priority works. So, now other point, other thing why you cannot see this because though you set the priorities, there is no guarantee JVM will do the same thing. Yes, JVM will listen to your priority, the thread executor will listen to your priority, but still that is not in your control. So, final question, what happened if the two threads carrying the same priority, right? So, let us say, uh, let us say give an example. So, main thread is set to priority 7 and child thread set to priority 7. Child thread, you do not need to set the priority because when the main thread set to priority, when the child thread create, it inherit, it inherit priority from the main thread. Anyway, so we set now, right. So, now if you execute this example, so you will see, so last time we saw most of the time main thread uh, get last, right. So, now this time, when you execute, when you keep executing, you will see almost same behavior, right? So, no, I mean, uh, uh, nothing much significant different you to see. The reason is when you set the same priorities for the both threads, there is no way you can predict, right? So, now we will ask, turn back and ask question, even though you set the 1 and 10, you will see the almost same behavior, with the, though you set the uh, 7, uh, same priority for the both thread, you will see the same behavior, yes, true. But if you really, really want to see how this exactly work, you need to put this into the real program and there is a way you can take a thread dump. Thread dump mean the your status of the thread in the movement telegrams. So, just, a, just a, the moment you take the thread dump, you will see um, the status of the particular thread, right. So, you need to use O, yeah, you can use something like, um, um, I do not remember that tool, there is a tool. I will show you end of this course, right? So, you can see the thread behaviors of the JVM, right? So, other than that, there is no in very direct way you to see this type of thing by using this, this type of simple program because thread priority and the how thread works is a little bit complicated than to show in this type of simple example. So, as a conclusion, threads are not indexes, so it is not starting from the 0, thread priority always go with the 1 to 10, right? If you set something beyond this, that's number point two. If you set something beyond this, it will not go to the default value. It will go to, it will give you illegal argument exception. Threads are not rank. So, 1 is the lowest and 10 is the highest, right? How that's how thread works, right? Thread priorities work. And default thread priority is not always 5. Only main method has a default thread as a, uh, default priority as a 5. All other threads inherit priority from the main thread. So, I hope you clearly understand. So, now in our journey, we completed four videos. Now, still more to go. Subscribe to my YouTube and click on that bell sign. So, you will uh, not lose any video that I am going to post. And also, I have a, a idea to detail discuss about the exception handling in Java also. Right? So, stay tuned. Uh, like to my Facebook and follow on my Instagram. Stay in touch. See you soon.